So a particular point you made is that once you do three or four sets for an exercise, you've more or less maximized the muscle protein synthetic response, or just put simply the hypertrophic benefit you're going to get from that exercise. And to some degree, that isn't necessarily what we see in the volume research. So as someone that maybe values the outcome oriented data a little bit more, I would say, okay, I agree just like theoretically, that seems to make sense. Like that's just intuitive that after you train an exercise really hard, at some point it stops being effective. But then if you value outcome oriented research quite a bit, you might say, man, we have to really question that, right? We need to rethink that. But what you're saying is, man, measuring hypertrophy is tough. I know you're not like really big in the swelling game, but maybe something like swelling is contributing here. And I just have enough conviction using logic or mechanistic rationale and experience and experience that I'm going to operate as if after I do my third or fourth set on an exercise that I'm probably not going to benefit from additional additional sets. Is that pretty fair? 